<laughs> Palace Barracks. Yeah, bit of upstairs. Dearest Previn, I regret to tell you that I will not be home from a visit as soon as I thought. My healing services will be needed here for some time as a terrible thing has happened to this small village. Two nights ago, as I finished my evening rituals, I heard a horrible commotion in the town square. I ran out to see what the trouble was and it found the town over overrun by trolls. Trolls will come and search their favourite meal, human children. House to house they went, ripping doors off and brushing aside of the men as if they were no more than flies. Mothers wailed as babies were torn from their breasts and fathers cried in anguish as one by one the children were eaten alive. The bloody procession went on and on and I feared the screams and sobs would ring of my darkest dreams forever. Then a miracle occurred. From the final house came not the cry of torment but one of victory. I raced down the street to the house, found inside strewn with the bodies of the trolls and there in the middle stood Nedra, a young woman who had just given birth a few days before. She had a newborn clutched in her arm the other was a magnificent silver sword. She told us that as the trolls burst in she had grabbed the only weapon she had a knitting needle and cried out to stratos to protect her child instantly in answer to her plea the great stratos turned the needle into a magnificent sword said the sword fairly danced in her hand slaying the trolls left and right until none were left alive while i can find some solace in the miracles stratos performed i'm afraid the task ahead of me is almost overwhelming do what i can to ease the hurts and wounds of the mind stratos gives uh, no power to heal I will stay until I do what I can, and then I will carry the sword, now called Protector, to Argent Rock Isle. There I will prepare a small shrine in the catacombs beneath the monastery. Do miss you, my love. I ask that you watch over our dear little Stellos until I can find, until I can return. It's sad his mother must be away from him so soon after his birth, but I must serve where I'm needed. I'm sure you understand, but all my love, Veras. Hmm, okay. <laughs> yeah. Blues generally sleep and greens poison, so we don't probably want those. Stay out of trouble. Robocop. Mm -hmm. I think that's money, isn't it? Obsidian coins, yeah. Fish, fish. It's all a bit fishy. Yeah. Another key ring. No, oh, stop it. No, I think I might take that just in case I need to. Don't know, maybe you can fill a key ring. Got a chance, help take children on top of the dungeon. Eight donuts. Arrested peasants, resisted arrest, had to use force, nothing to report. Caught kids throwing rocks, none of them damaged too terrible. Silverware. The time is now blood watch. Ah, so it is times. Ooh, backpack. Probably keep that as a main bag for something. Yeah, just drink everything. Why not? Yeah, keep doing that. Stab, stab, stab. <laughs> Need a better weapon than a bloody dagger, though. What the hell is that? 
Final Sunlight. Final Sunlight by Nolan Drew the Blind, Idiot of Tenebrae. Yeah. That's uh, useful. Final moments of sunlight were glorious moments, one we would have cherished had we known they were to be our last. The war against our very kindred seemed never ending day after day of bloodshed. Now, in their eyes burned the hatred of intolerance, and these flames kindled the hate, the fire of violence. After a while it became easy to forget the face of those you had slain, a sister with one chop, an uncle with another, yet still they came, outraged that we dared to listen to the voice of warning. By the time the destroyer came, we were ready, not for the destroyer, but for an end to the fighting. Too many had not heeded, so we thought, too many refused to acknowledge that we were, uh, acknowledge the might of the titans, we were doomed to devastation, but with the doom came the sickening thought of peace and silence. In the end we wondered, would Pagan and Zealand know one from each other as lifeless corpses filling the pyres as a result of the destroyer's carnage? Then came the Titans. First rose Lithos, the Mountain King. Then came Stratos, the Mystic Voice, and her sister Hydros, the Lurker. Finally, the blazing image of Pyros, Lord of Flame, appeared to challenge the Destroyer. On the ground, both Pagan and Zeolan alike ceased battle, awed by the presence of these titanic elements. The sky became a whirlwind of smoke and dust and hail, and Titans joined forces um, to and began to rise up. As the battle was fought, Above the very lands in which we stood were rendered piece by from peace, mountains shifted, rose and spewed fiery death, wind ripped through buildings and torrents of water cascaded over the walls of the cities. The very enemies who stood against each other bared fangs and flashed eyes uh, were unable to face off, blinded by the smoke, tumbled by the quakes, scorched by the searing flames. There was naught but chaos, and then the fight ended and the destroyer vanquished, there was naught but ruin. Quake ceased, the wind slowed, the waters calmed, and the smoke cleared. Pagan again saw Pagan. Despite the recent tumult, the moment was one of serenity. When the sun, but then, but the sun was no more. There is no knowledge where the light of the sky is gone. There is no true night, and there is no true day. And the Titans, demanding over increasing sacrifices in payment for their deed, offer no answers. Okay, so there's no sun. What the hell's this thing? No idea. A candle. Catalog, nothing important, nothing important, nothing important, nothing important, nothing important, more the same take, I guess. Same book, different location. Year of Archon, volume uh, four. Lone stranger turns to the heads and still quaffing his grog. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, some sort of story. Anything useful? Hmm. Doesn't seem to lead anywhere. A secret door is not so particularly secret. What do you want, stranger? What is your duty? Guarding the Tempest. Who are you? None of your concern. Where am I? What, you're blind? You're standing in the Palace of the Tempest. Uh, bye. It's really about my duties anyway. That's got to be a secret though. I don't like the look. Ugh. I didn't actually mean to eat the weird looking mushrooms. That's the mess hall. Yes, this clearly obvious secret door. Cushion. 
Okay, so sleeping woman. I can't get in there anyway. So I think I've been everywhere in here. So looks like you can carry on. Yeah. Beyond the palace. Don't have a key. Okay. There must be more than just the palace. Ah, here we go. Who are you? Hello. What's your name? Who are you? As my dear sent you to question me. Ha! If you don't know who I am, then you don't know what I have done. Okay. That's not a guilty conscience at all, is it? Where's, like, the town? There we go, we go here. Ah. In the library, this is where he sent me to go. Peasant. Greetings! Shh! Well, go fuck yourself then. Eye of the Boulder, the runes of the Myth Drainer. <laughs> really? Eye of the Beholder, runes of Myth Drainer. My love, my love, my. my Doom. I began to search for that. I shortly after the 19th year. I'm still training with the necromancers. <laughs> I don't know. So, some sort of uh, a rip off of. Voices. On the Lost. The Eye. Sag of Bron Crusher Book Useful Rian Journal Book Journal In about four days since Salem received the fatal blow, strange events, children at the camp before midnight claiming to be the child of friends of his. When she saw them, let Lane let out a fearsome scream and collapsed, and the little strangers made a hasty retreat into the night. How could children be child of friends of a man in his late thirties? Day 18, this morning around breakfast, Lena explained that childhood companions were only illusions that Salem used to create to entertain himself. If the illusions still existed, then Salem would still be alive. Seek advice from Richard to Tenebrae. After a rugged day of travel, we all expected much needed and well deserved rest in Tenebrae, but it was not to be. As soon as the door to our least cabin was open, those three children were looking at inside. Still, their plea was us to rescue Salem. We decided to let them stay with us to investigate their claims in the morning. But they knew our destination before we did, and nerves just no end. There was no sleep to be had with the mournful gaze of the oldest child, who calls himself Colin, watching me all night. Today we went with the wild chase of the fire brigade as they attempted to douse several fires that started simultaneously around Tenebra when a shower of flaming stones reared from the sky. Lane's skirts caught fire. She raised quite a stir when she leapt into the Tempest Fountain to douse them and discovered it was stocked with snapping eels. <laughs> In a day on the road following the direction of Colin is offered him no information about Salem's condition other than he needs help. After I saw what happened to him, there's no way he could be alive. What kind of help does a dead person need? Guess we'll find out tomorrow. The black shadow of the keep still falls over as the sun rises on the other side. The silence and cold is not natural, and Warwick is convinced we have been watched from twisted spires. I'm going to carry on my speaking stone into the place, see if it recognises Salem without error. Okay. What is this guy here? Quiet. Dispelling mist, the truth about magic. Book. Mythology of the Zealand deities. This makes no sense. The Grim Book. Oh, 
Oh, this is supposed to be someone here that I'm supposed to talk to. Hello. Shush. Nope. Well, oh, whoever I'm supposed to talk to is not here. Chaos Gem. What do you want here, stranger? Admire but touch not. Yes. What's your name? My name is Rian, and yours? I'm Slugmar. Oh, Slugmar. I'm afraid I'm not good company at this terrible time. Why do you cry? I'm sorry if my tears upset you. It's so sad. I was once the wife of Toron, but now he's gone, and my son is gone. What shall I do? What do you do? I'm a weaver, I make clothing, and because of oh, I cannot say without crying, my husband's execution. I've taken over the running of my husband's gem shop. Toron was the gem cutter in town. My son is no longer here. I'm left to run the shop. Unfortunately, dropped out halfway through the con the uh, conversation. What? Shoplifters will be flogged. Well. Yeah, perhaps you should, whilst I burgle your house. Yeah. You know. How big is your house? Uh, da, 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 da. Your adventure within these pages lies your path to imaginable wealth and power. All you must do is gain such is read and learn of the strange and exotic places that hold keys to your wildest dreams. Enter into the realm where money, power and pleasure await you. All you must do to gain them uh, is the courage and the heart for adventure. Ship of Doom. My tells me handed down from generation to generation about a mighty ship that sailed from the port of Tenebrae. It said that the ship was so big it actually dwarfed the palace of the Tempest it needed a crew of hundreds. Many years ago a bit of wind had buried the city to its rooftops in ice, threatening to destroy all of the food supplies and freeze to death all the town's inhabitants. Since no one could explain the reason for the foul wind, so it was decided that a great ship be sent to find and appease whatever was causing the disaster. The ship was to sail to a distant shore, carrying the wealth of the citizens' hopes for rescuing the city and its inhabitants. The ship, it is said, departed laden with the wealth of the sea just before the water around the port of Tenebrae froze solid. Because the sea was freezing in its wake, no ships could be sent to follow. It sailed away into the dark, forbidden twilight. The ship never did return. Most think it went to the bottom of the sea. Some say it found a distant shore and completed its mission, pointing to the fact that the winter storms faded away a few days after the ship's departure, never to return either. Some old timers say that the ship still sails upon the sea. Frozen in a huge block of ice, its riches and crews are silent offering to ever sent wintry storms. The most will tell you this is a myth. Some of the older ones will swear that the story of the ship is true. To every sound heart, said his sword, the riches and the dangers wait you in the hull of frozen ship. Ship that sailed off into the zone of twilight. Well. Lost by Meltzars the Troll. Said my people lives to be destroyed. Even the name Troll is an insult. Humans hurl at each other. While in my time, the name Troll was noble and respected. The fact is merely to put down this path of twisted barbarism or endeavour to discover. Since I was laid low by the sleeping disease contracted in my studies of the arcane, there were no efforts to revive me, and now I see why. All trolls with any mystic skills are gone. Indeed, it seems only the ignorant buffoons remain, and breeding our society into mindless brutes. I awakened, I was shocked to see trolls dressed in no more than rags, and even more surprised at the galled vile insults they hailed at me. As they drove me from their shelter, imagine trolls living in caves like beasts. I encountered a group of our old allies, the humans. Upon seeing me, they drew weapons and charged. My surprise was equaled by theirs when I turned and ran. 
Wave needs to be banned, it's our raiders. It seems a troll who thinks it's self a pres self a preservation is early into them. My own clothes are torn and tattered and it shames me to wear them, but it seems trolls have no longer harvest the silk of the kith. If only I'd learned to use the loom in my youth I would spill my own spin my own cloth. I also hunger for fine wine and breads, but it seems my fellows have restored stealing thoraxes from humans and eating them raw. One of the trolls I couldn't reside with brought in a human child and was going to eat her. I would stand for no more and blasted the troll with a spell of light. The others huddled away from me and stared with fear and hatred. Carry the injured child back to the gates of the human city. When the guards see that of goodwill, they will help me out. And perhaps I will find ally allies among them and get killed. Hmm. Uh, eh. There you go. I don't think I can really zoom it in much. I've got uh, all the main ultimas across the top. Trilogies and budget releases and whatever. A few other Origin games on there. Um, put it there. Put them online. Got driving a camera when it's reversed is a pain in the ass. Uh, open online figures and actually today just received a signed Shroud of the Avatar poster signed by Darkstar and Lord British. That's just arrived from Port Larian this morning. Oh, wait, let me take them. That's really weird. Hmm, okay. Keep forgetting, can't press escape to shut the gumps down. Can't believe this is her entire house, it's massive. With next to nothing in it. What do you sell here? And we either, and because, oh, my husband's execution, we've already done this. There we go. My husband's shop. It's a gem cutter. My son is no longer here. You sell clothing. I sell those that I make. Certainly, and I have rough cloth to work with. I'm afraid it'll be nothing like some of the rich kith silk you are used to. I have cloaks, shirts, vests, and robes. Nothing. Hello. Like to buy or sell? Uh, sell. Seems you've misplaced your gems. Oh, so that fire gem or whatever it has got isn't a gem. Interesting. What the hell is it? I if it's a weapon. Like a hand grenade. I can't remember where I am here. The skulls. I'd actually forgotten just how <laughs> Nah. Well, I started collecting big box games. Um because I still had a few. Got some shelves made and pretty much filled it instantly and decided that I was actually going to stick to collecting specific things which is Ultima's Origin and um, I've got Star Wars stuff and Mech Warrior and stuff like that but I'm now no longer just buying boxes for the sake of buying boxes because I've run out of room Year of Aricorn. The Beauty of Rianne by Toran. Her luminous candle guides my way in the darkness, warm and soft. My heart sings when bathed in her light. 
A gentle whisper of love calls out a name, Rian, and my heart answers its melody. The voice whispers soft to my soul. A gentle child of love. While I live, Rian is my life. And then you get your head chopped off. Yeah, I've got some. I think I actually have more Japanese Sega games than I do UK ones. Um, and there's nothing really special. It's like Sonic and Strider, I think. And something else. Yeah, interesting. Oh, that's clever. There you go. Oh, I was going to say that's clever when you go near the mirror, it creates a a shadow. Oh, there. Yeah. Got a key. I think I've got Altered Beast on a um, compilation cartridge, but other than that. Restore to sight. Book. Ah! Killer jokes by the trickster. Welcome, leader, and learn the age of art of practical jokes. I, trickster, study long and hard from terms of the ancient masters to achieve knowledge and wisdom. May now impart on you the novice. Chapter 1 Exploding Books. Ha ha. I know what's going to happen now. Yes. <laughs> 